Hollywood, the land of glitz, glamour, and billion dollar blockbusters. But what if I told you there's a shadowy side to Tinseltown that no red carpet can cover up? From shocking accusations against household names to a controversial film that's being whispered about in hushed tones, this story will make you question everything you thought you knew about the entertainment industry. So, grab some popcorn, buckle up, and stick around, because we're diving into the secrets Hollywood doesn't want you to know. Trust me, you won't want to miss this. Recently, Mel Gibson, yes, that Mel Gibson, made headlines for more than just his movies. This time, he's speaking out about something far darker than any thriller plot. Gibson claims there's a secret underbelly in Hollywood tied to trafficking, exploitation, and corruption. And smack dab in the middle of these allegations is none other than Oprah Winfrey. Shocking, right? How did we get here? And what does Oprah have to say about Mel Gibson's claims? Oprah's been America's media darling for decades, someone we trust, someone who's changed lives. But according to Gibson, that polished image might be hiding a different reality. So, what's the truth? Let's unravel this tangled web of allegations, controversy, and conspiracy theories. I shared with her that me and my mother was not talking. I shared with her we were in a really bad place. I shared with her I was hurt and, you know, trying to figure this thing out. She never said my mother was coming on that show because had Oprah Winfrey said, I'm going to have your mother, I would have said, shut it down. I don't need the world seeing how greedy my mother is. If you had given me the opportunity, I would have said, I can't put my mother, that's still my mother. Right. Okay? Now here comes the show. And here comes the commercials. And now I'm starting to see my mother and my father and my other brother who was my manager. We didn't discuss that, Oprah. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell. This way, you'll never miss out on any future celebrity videos similar to these. Mel Gibson has always been a bit of a wild card in Hollywood. From his early days as a heartthrob in Lethal Weapon to his shocking controversies, Gibson has made headlines for decades. But recently, he's been laser focused on one topic, human trafficking. He's partnered with anti-trafficking organizations, and even claims he's working on a documentary exposing the powerful figures allegedly involved. And guess what? Gibson alleges that some of these individuals are hiding in plain sight. People we've celebrated, people we've trusted. Enter Oprah Winfrey. Here's where things get really wild. Gibson alleges that Oprah's associations with influential and controversial figures raise serious red flags. He points to her connections with individuals like Jeffrey Epstein, the infamous financier whose trafficking network sent shockwaves around the globe. Now, to be fair, there's no concrete evidence linking Oprah to Epstein's crimes, but the internet doesn't care about evidence. Once people heard Gibson's claims, conspiracy theories started snowballing. I'm 43 and I've been saying this since I was a kid that something wasn't right about Oprah, and folks laughed. Been saying this for years. I don't trust Oprah, I get evil villain energy. Always have. When people have been rich, longer than they were poor, they get strange and disconnected with what we suffer as reality. Let's talk about Sound of Freedom. If you haven't heard of it, you're not alone. This 2023 indie thriller came out swinging with a powerful message about trafficking. Directed by Alejandro Monteverde and starring Jim Caviezel, this film follows the story of a federal agent risking everything to save kids trapped in the horrifying world of trafficking. On paper, this sounds like the kind of movie Hollywood would rally behind, right? Wrong. Despite earning over $250 million globally on a shoestring $14.5 million budget, Sound of Freedom was met with lukewarm support from major studios streaming giants like Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon. Nope, not interested. Why? That's the million dollar question. Despite the clarifications, Hollywood seems strangely resistant to Sound of Freedom. Disney, which initially acquired the film through its purchase of Fox, sat on it for years before finally allowing the filmmakers to buy back the rights. Even then, it struggled to find a distributor. So what gives? Why would Hollywood, a place that loves a good underdog story, turn its back on a movie with such an important message? Well, according to Gibson and others, it's because Sound of Freedom hits too close to home. Guys, I just experienced a conspiracy theory, like 
in person for the first time ever, so I just went to go see a noon showing of Sound of Freedom, which is the human trafficking movie by Jim Caviezel that's currently outperforming uh, Indiana Jones. But, like, of course, studios and everything are trying to hush-hush this movie and make it seem like not so many people are going to see it and they're not promoting it at all. And they're basically trying to make it seem like no one is going to see it. Um, theaters all over the country keep having really weird things happen when people go to see it, like AC not working, sound not working, lights not turning off. Um, and I was, like, super curious, so I came to see it. And the lights didn't turn off for the first 10 minutes. And also there was like a voiceover, like a narrator for blind people. And so I could like tell around me, like tons of people kept getting up to go complain. And then after about 15 minutes, someone came in and they turned the movie off. Before we go any further into the video, do you agree with Mel Gibson's thoughts about Oprah and how she may not be America's sweetheart like everyone thinks? Comment down below. Let's not forget that Hollywood has its own skeletons. From Harvey Weinstein's decades of to the lingering mystery of Epstein's connections, the industry has faced its fair share of scandals. Is it so far-fetched to believe there are things they'd rather we not see? Gibson's claims and Sound of Freedom shine a light on the kind of exploitation that has allegedly plagued Hollywood for years. And while the allegations against Oprah remain unproven, they add fuel to an already blazing fire. At its core, this isn't just a story about Hollywood or conspiracies, it's about real people. Trafficking is a horrifying global issue that affects millions every year. Whether you believe Gibson's claims or not, movies like Sound of Freedom play a crucial role in sparking conversations. Oprah's philanthropic projects, such as the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls in South Africa, have also faced challenges. In 2007, allegations of surfaced involving a school staff member. Oprah personally intervened, visiting the school and addressing the issue publicly. She expressed deep sorrow and took steps to ensure the safety and well-being of the students. While Oprah Winfrey's legacy is largely one of inspiration and empowerment, her immense influence makes her a lightning rod for criticism. Whether it's associations with controversial figures or being pulled into conspiracy theories, she remains a polarizing figure. Through it all, Oprah has consistently addressed major criticisms head-on, often using her platform to clarify her stance and take corrective action. And maybe that's the scariest part for some of these elites, the fear that the curtain might finally be pulled back. So, where does this leave us? Well, Gibson's claims are bold, and the truth behind Hollywood's resistance to Sound of Freedom is murky at best. But one thing's for sure, awareness is power. The more we talk about these issues, the harder it becomes for anyone, elite or otherwise, to hide in the shadows. Hollywood might love a good sequel, but it's up to us to decide how this story ends. Thanks for watching, and remember, the truth is out there, you just have to look for it. Anyway, this concludes today's video. Be sure to subscribe to LoafTube for future celebrity videos, and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Until then, see you in the next one.